Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Oscar and today we are playing uh Internal Darkness Nightmare or er, Night Sanity's Requiem. Now where we last left off, um I also increased the game volume. I'm not too for OBS, so I think you guys should hear it more. I think it's fine, right? I'll decrease it by this much. We're basically doubling the original volume because I thought it sounded quiet. Uh, where did we last left off here? That's the thing I don't get. Because I think it brought us back down here after we collected the page. Oh, all right, that's the loin zone. Wait, we can't go. We can't do anything in there yet. So, we actually learned something, everybody. Was that a sad thing? Okay, that must have been sanity. We'll just give ourselves more sanity. Oh! Not the right item. Uh, spell I mean. Nice. Alright, I think we can just stick in here. Right? Oh, use. There we go. Now we can enter. Oh, there's a rat. What's this? Among the pantry content contents is a spice jar with a scrap of paper hidden inside. Hmm. That rat came up, went to nowhere. Where did the rat go? Okay, whatever. A firmly sealed glass spice jar, the faint aroma of your Arabian spices are I I can't speak is tantalizingly emanating from it. Okay, let's collect the paper. Oh, it's a chapter page lurking of darkness has been extinguished. The pillar of flesh has been constructed. The master of chaos, the keeper of the ancients, is long dead. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. I will begin the final incantation that will bring you into our world within days. The next millennium will truly usher in a new age. Your guardians, now prepare the gate. Oh. Okay, we just friendly got a cutscene. So I'm guessing this is like happening in real time? Oh, the kitchen is as empty as the library is full. A reflection of her grandfather's attitude. Always learning, reading, studying, rather than eating. Dang. Crazy. Oh. Oh, the rat's still alive. Wait, what? That's interesting. It makes sounds, I guess. Oh, what is this? Oh, you can zoom in items. The D-pad. I did not know that. Did we read this? 
I think we read that already. One moment, guys. All right, guys, I am back. Let's do this. Wait, did the game freeze? Oh, okay, there we go. I guess OBS just like Oh, the noises were coming from the page. I was like, what's going on right now? <sighs> okay. I guess we will read the page then. Alright, so I was gone for a little bit longer, but of course, it's been just been a second for you guys. It's just been a second. And I accidentally paused the game too. Okay, here we are. The Lurking Horror. Let's use it and see where this I brings us. I was shocked by the sudden mention of one of my ancestors, the distinguished Dr. Maximilian Roivas. Oh. It chilled me to my bones. Is that the journal writer? Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon it? I feverishly began to read more, eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian had inherited his father's mansion just as I had. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. Hmm. 1760, eh? This is interesting. It has been two weeks since the death of my father, and it has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Now, I am truly alone, and forced to start a new life here in Rhode Island. I intend to make the mansion mine, and live in it as my forefathers have, to continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets, I'm sure. In my time here, I have to make them mine. Oh, okay. What's this? Max has found some flintlock pistol animation. Oh, interesting. Okay. Are we going to use a gun? A desk cluttered with notes and writs. Mostly business to do with the Rovis estate. Okay. Um, what else we got here? Okay. A small collection of Maximilian's medical journals. References and reports. Ooh, what is this music? Okay, same thing. Okay. Hmm. All right, I think that's it here. Man, that works slowly. Oh, interesting. Uh, which way do I go here? A gritty portrait of a man with an overbearing countenance. Countenance? Countenance? Partly of a reassuring soul, Maximilian wonders if that trait was prevalent in his ancestors. There's a clock ringing. The painting has a quaint, reassuring feeling behind the brushwork, which is probably why it has been kept in the family for long as it has been. More flintlock ammunition. Something tells me we're gonna have to use a flintlock. What's in here? Oh, notes. On the bedside table is an open letter. Alright, let's leave it. Read the letter. A letter written with some precision in long hand. Dear friend, that the antiquity, antiquity of which you ask is indeed the tomb of internal darkness or a copy of it, at least. Its secrets are still hidden from me, for I have been unable to read it, as have most scholars who have tried. It will remain within the Sectiony of the mansion for 
in the wrong hands, it would be a powerful weapon. Pursue it. Uh, yeah, per use it, if you will. But beware its magic is a harsh mistress. Aaron Rovas. Okay. Oh. Uh, wait, what, what, what was that on the... Who was that near the bed? A stone tablet carved with strange pictograms is displayed on the mantelpiece. An odd conservation piece, to be sure. Oh, hello. The servant mutters under his breath, not realizing that Max is nearby. He appears to be distressed at his lot in life, working all the time. I see. Okay. Hmm. What's in here? The mirror's grim reflection returns Max's questioning gaze. His face racked with sleepless nights and a strange gleam in his eye hint at a, a growingly odd demeanor. Huh. You don't say. Flintlock ammo. Can't interact with the bathtub. Okay. Nothing happens. Gotcha. We have a lot of flintlock ammunition. Uh, okay, there was a door over here that we could have taken. I'm gonna see where this leads. So, oh god, you scared me. Why is there so many servants? The servant is preoccupied with his duties. Okay. Oh. The a city of an art interior outhouse. Polished teak and mahogany finish it is truly a sight to behold and experience. What, going to the bathroom? Oh yes, a sight to use. <laughs> okay. That seems interesting. The door to the servants' quarters is securely locked. Maximilian, however, can't help but feel uneasy. An ominous present lurks behind that door. Making the hairs on his neck stand on end. What's this? Why do I feel like someone's gonna jump at me? A stained glass window. We're pleasant with bright colors and exquisite worksmanship. There is something odd about it. Perhaps the curious detail of its shapes and content. Oh, great, we're back at the mansion music. What happened to that patriotic music that we were going for before? Okay, that's for the main door. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the only way we can go. So this is the mansion back in the day. Coolio. A portrait of one of the many faces in the robust line. Some are sketches, some are lavish oil paintings. But regardless of the medium, their presence is somewhat d discomforting. I see. Is this uh, gonna say the same thing? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's in their servant. Hello there. What? Whilst performing her duties, the servant makes idle chit-chat about the room's temperature. Okay. Why did we have a down preview of this? The railing? Oh, it's not comforting at all. A open letter lies on the table. Let's pick it up. It's another letter. Letter number two. A letter scrawled by a panicked hand with clotted ink. Dear friend, the house has been forsaken by the ancients. I dare not enter it for fear of my mortal soul. I would suggest that you leave also. Bring the book. It is a far more potent tool than you have learned, and may it will swing in the balance of in your favor, in our favor. Aaron Rabbis. Hmm. I think there's people here. 
you know, it's not as, you know, creepy in the original mansion. Of course, we still have this soundtrack that makes it spooky. But, uh, I, I like the original soundtrack, the patriotic, you know, <laughs> it's funny. It also was sort of, uh, you know, not bad. Uh, cold moonlight filters in through grime-stained windows. Even with servants cleaning every day, the house never seems to be to get very clean, as if the very nature of the house itself is soiled. Dang. Hello, dear sir. Bidding Maximilian a courteous good day, the servant returns to his duties. I see. Okay, so this is the uh, kitchen? Yes. Oh, another tablet. More flintlock ammunition. Oh! We have a pistol! I didn't even notice that. The French flintlock holster pistol was in use from the 1680s. As a muscle-loaded pistol, its rate of fire is rather low, but it packs a powerful punch. Aye. Max cannot cast spells without the Tomb of Eternal Darkness. Oh, we don't even have it, the book, yet. Yeah. Hello there. With a kind smile, she asks if Maximilian has an appetite, as she is preparing a hearty meal for the evening. Oh, that's sweet. A cozy fireplace is the focal point of the kitchen, lending a good deal of warmth to the estuarial room at night. You know, I'd be grateful for these servants. Whilst going about her duties, the servant casually remarks about a strange quality hanging in the air. This comment, odd comment makes Maximilian feel like something is quite amiss. Why would she say that? Hmm. What's this? A pump. Uh, a pump handle is sitting on a barrel inside the pantry. What is it doing here? A pump handle. Are they going to become evil? All these people. What's in here? Oh! Hey, it's the other music. It's no longer the mansion music. Hello there, dear sir. The servant inquires if Maximilian requires any... I mean, inquires... I mean, inquires if Maximilian requires anything of service. Sorry, I don't know why I, I acted like I read that wrong. I just wanted to reread that for some reason. What is this? There is something written beneath the image. When darkness spreads its wings before the master Axolof's greatest foe, the path to truth will be opened. What? Axolof's foe. This? Oh! I see. Hold on. Is that... Uh, before we enter that secret room, I want to check out everything else here. Do we have a heal item? Oh, medical journal. Maximilian's medical journal. Used to take notes on medical and pathological analysis. Okay. Oh. Wait. Oh, more of this. Wait a second. What is this? An oil painting of the mansion's fo foyer hangs on the wall. Max wonders why the artist would paint an inaccurate picture of one end of the room with such detail and clarity that it approaches realism. The illustration features a collection of strange line designs related to each other in a say clinical manner. There appears to be some significance to it. 
but it isn't particularly evident. The wall is decorated with a colored triangular design. Although Max has seen this particular embellishment time and time again, its significance still invades him. I see. Okay. So we need the book then, right? Yeah, we need the book for that. So what happens if we grab the tomb? Right? Like, there, there's something bad gonna happen, right? This appears to be a wax rubbing of some kind of carved pattern. The central point is an odd line designed. A symbol or something? <laughs> Wait. Why is there two pistols? Can we... An uh, age flintlock pistol rests on a display stand fixed to the wall. Uh oh. Oh, we can't. Wait, we can. <laughs> Heck yeah! Do <laughs> dual flintlocks! <laughs> oh, heck yeah, we're going in style here. The, this gothic cathedral is silhouetted against a stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of subtlety. Each, every brush stroke echoes of spikes of the, extra, the architecture, impugning and violent feeling, as though the building itself is a harsh and position on reality. A grim picture indeed. I think that's what is said be in you know, current time too. Okay, what's this? A curled scroll of age apartments sits atop a stack of dusty books. It is covered with strange diagrams and writing. Reveal invisible. Oh! An ornamental... An ornamental saber, sabery, is displayed on the wall. Yeah, let's take that. So, salmon. Lying amidst the papers on the desk is a strange lever bound book. Yes. Oh, great. As Max lifts the Tomb of Ter Internal Darkness, a letter slips out from between the pages. Deftly, Max catches it as it drops towards the floor. Alright, what we got here? Letter 3. A letter scrawled almost in surfeit in Dice decipherably. God, I can't speak, man. By a wavering hand. Dear friend, as I suspected, the ruins of Enga that blasted Necropolis lie deep under the site of the mansion. The accursed servants of Exoloth are so close I can almost hear their chatter chittering. There is a secret opening in the basement, and from what there, we can gain access. I urge you to gather some men and seal it. Or better still, destroy this blank place. I have stowed something that you will find useful on the upper level. Look to the light, and you'll find it. I wish that I could be at your side, but my alignment worsens daily. And I know that my time is short. AR. Okay. Also, what kind of... I totally forgot. Spells, uh, enchant, cast, green. Oh. Is it? No. There we go. Heck yeah. Chant of pistols. What? What's going on? Uh. 
All right, these things are slow. That's Iron Man. I am dead. All right. Um, Max has perished at the hands of the eternal darkness with no one to stop their diabolical, diabolical pan plans. Humanity will surely be annihilated. Well, crap. And the game restored. Cool, I guess. Alright, everybody, I'm back. I may have accidentally restarted the thing three times because I accidentally was like, oh, I'm gonna use a save state so we don't have to run back here. And then I accidentally used the wrong save state, and yeah, it's been a mess, but we're back here, finally. Uh, we'll make the flintlocks, I guess. No, actually, let's make them green. And let's make the other in this thing blue. Alright, and then this guy's gonna come after me, right? Ow. Oh! New entry has been placed in Maximilian's medical journal. It can be accessed from the journal section of the tome. Oh! Oh, this is interesting. This is very interesting because it's like, um, you know, we're supposed to execute him, but he's like, huh, I'm gonna investigate this actually. When the autopsy has been performed, Max can view the new entry by turning to the journal section of the tomb and selecting autopsy at the bottom of the excuse me of the page. Select autopsy. Blah 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 blah. Okay. The creature wears the skin of people to protect itself. Bone thief. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, there's even a cinema. Okay, so... Oh. It's still alive. That's cool. Yeah. Get that blood off the screen. I'm not saying he's back up. Are you gonna attack me? Well, he didn't seem to want to attack me. It's like, no, sir, please don't. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Ow. Ah, uh, why can I? Hold up. All right. Oh. Get down on the ground, loser. A magical room. You have just discovered the real... Invi Reveal invisible spell. Sweet! Alright, let me reload here. You know. That type of thing. 
attempt autopsy. Amazing. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, so it's not good to use the uh, guns for that. There we go. So we can do an autopsy on the... What? Okay, guess we can't. Hello? You're normal. You're not normal. Get my ah! Uh, you can't do anything in a trapper dimension. Bogus. Hey there, there, so. Take you out. All right, let me take you out. So is the other, the other servant, uh, normal? Please tell me the other servant's normal. She's very kind. Oh. You're normal, right? Hello? Oh! Cackling gleefully, the servant casually tosses what appears to be a human organ onto into a nearby pot, stirring carefully. She assures Maximilian that it will be a meal to lo be long remembered. I see. Can we? Why is it glowing? Can I stab it? Okay, it just disappeared. What if she was normal and we just killed an innocent woman? Like, what if she was normal and it was just my sanity messing with me? Did I just murder an innocent woman? Oh, crap. I did, didn't I? There are footsteps. Alright. Oh, let's see here. Spell list. Reveal. Blue? Okay. Guess not. It's the green! Gotcha. Cast. Green. What? Oh, the design is oddly reminiscent of a circle of power mentioned in the Tomb of Internal Darkness. It probably re uh, refers to some kind of spell or in its alignments. Uh, okay. Mix? What can you mix this with? Oh, ammo. What? I don't understand what it means by mix. 
Also, how does this work? Spell reveal invisible, right? Uh, nothing is working. Oh, hello. Ow! Can't give it a little kick. Um... I'm generally confused. There's a symbol here. You think it would be a reveal? Mm, area. So. Okay, well, that's a recover spell. Um... You have just discovered spell nine. Oh. Cast? What just happened? I don't know what's the point of uh, trying to recover magic. Okay, you're normal. I can still attack him. That's interesting. Oh, the horror. Its eyes are the weak its weaknesses. The uh, creature is highly dependent on sight rather than sound. Uh, okay. So I'm guessing if I were to just like run past it. I wouldn't have to worry about sound. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm surprised you're normal. Anyone else that is a normal in this place? Okay, I think the recover magic spell is useless because I still recover magic. Now, let's. Hey, what's this? Max spies an effluent that has fallen behind the pistol. Fallen, perhaps, or have been hidden there. Despite his excitement at this discovery, Max senses something odd about it a sense of evil. Should Max retrieve the sealed envelope? Oh, God. It, I know when somebody was going to jump out there. It was just waiting for the right time. 
Yeah, and I like I bet Maximilian's like wasn't even scared or anything. He was more frustrated. He's like, I paid hundreds on that meal. You dear demon. Oh no, my sanity's up. I see. Uh, this is interesting, is it not? Green. Wait. Or is it blue? That would be better for this. Wait, we got red. Or what? Okay. I guess it wasn't real? We still got the symbol. We got a red symbol. Hold on. New spell. Oh! Chatter guy. Wait, 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 wait. You mean we can do... Ooh! We can recover health, I bet. Hold on. Recover... Um... How you do this again? Assign... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, enchant item? No, uh, we need a uh, recover. There we go. And I guess we should have reveal area. So that's cool. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see. So you need red? Okay, so basically, this is like... This is just basically showing you the weaknesses. So basically, the red one is good against the green. The green is good against the blue. And the blue is good against the red. And then the purple must be, like, neutral. Where it must be good against them all? It's like Pokemon! My predictions were correct. It is like Pokemon. So we need... This, right? Yes, because the weakness is... Gotcha. The door is locked. What? You're telling me I revealed it all just to ha have it locked? You gotta be kidding me. Can we leave? So many secrets to uncover in the house. Maximilian is inexplicably drawn back to the house to continue his exploration. Of course he is. Everyone's dead in here, right? Yep. Now what? Where could the key be is the question. 
Was that the purple symbol? Yeah, that's the purple one. So, how do we unlock this door? Well, it's locked. The door is locked. We can't use anything, can we? Yeah, we can't use anything. Wait. We never did open this, did we? A p paper envelope sealed with a glob of melted wax. An odd rune is pressed into the wax. There appears to be he something heavy inside. Inside the envelope is a letter addressed to one of Max's father's aides. Max has found the basement key. I see. What is this? A, the letter, written in a scrolling hand, reads, Dear friend, as I expected, the beasts are drawing closer to our discovery. They want the book for themselves, it seems, and do not want us to have it in our possession. I have taken steps to ensure that their ilk will not touch the key in this envelope, should you fall prey to their claws. The envelope containing the basement key has been sealed with a corrosive magic. If one not aligned to us tries to handle it, it will be released, inflicting pain, suffering, and a grievous blow to their sanity, should it, they have any left. Be swift with your task, AR. Okay, so we are good, right? Okay! Oh, it's a basement. Hello! Oh. It's you guys! Hi! Right. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. You got an amazing body there. Die. All right. I just recover sanity here. Sweet. Okay. What's this? A scroll of paper rests on the rim of the well by the wall. Damage field spell scroll. Damage field. Oh, it's not even the spell we got. So which damage field? A tether scroll lined with the curious writing and diagrams. It reads, This incantation exerts a force of mystical power with the confines of its runes. Nothing may enter till it is dispelled. Okay. Interesting. There is a book over here, I see. I ain't not. Uh, Magic Tech Codex. Okay. A rusted pump stands by the well. Its handle appears to be missing. Oh, I got the handle! Let me just, uh, search this place first, because apparently there seems to be things that just jump out of nowhere. For no apparent reason. Uh, I think we should be fine. The whole house has been killed, except for the guy standing. I ain't cleaning. He's just minding his own business. So, I'm just letting him do his own business. The lady, on the other hand, who said she was gonna throw human organs and stuff into the stew. Yeah, I... That might have been my sanity tanking and alternate dialogue, and I just might have killed a innocent woman. I need that, yes sir. You have, you have the damage field spell. Fabulous. 
I feel like that should have been the first thing that he would have gotten. Right? This should have been like the first chapter. Because think about it. Uh, you would be introduced to weapons, you would be introduced to the codex, you would learn everything. But maybe they like to build it up, I don't know. So, Exolof Zombie. Limbs regrow as phantom entities when severed, causing deep-rooted insanity in their observers. The wrappings of the high, I mean, of the mummy are highly combustible and catch fire easily. Oh, what does that mean? We can do fire magic? Uh, the Mantrock zombie. A living human corpse. It has no special attributes or weakness. It is very weak. Composed of dried sinew and skin. Okay. What is this? Max is incredulously at incredulously at the sight. Uh, incredulous, not incredulously, at the sight. A desolate ruin of a fantastic city built into a huge, naturally formed cave. Jutting spire, jutting spider spires, and looming buildings poke through the dense fog. Light ebbs through the city. Uh, cr crackling in the wave of the energy spilling from a light source held aloft by unseen forces. Okay. There's the purple symbol. Whatever that is. Should we have a damage field here? Oh. Oh. I see. What the heck is that thing? Did you just use a spell to teleport? <laughs> he's like, he's so unfazed, he's like, what is that all about? <laughs> Alright, so since these guys are green, I guess we gotta use this thing. Son of a gun! Darn you, stick drift! Darn you! <laughs> Stop my spell! Alright. Time to show you losers. Is this all this is? These things are very annoying. They're like... 
You're just... Just die already! Oh god. Just die! Oh god. Three months later. I see. Uh oh. Is he dead? What's going on here? I tried. I tried to tell them. But they wouldn't listen to me. Damn. Damn their lies. They didn't believe me. So oh. He's an insane asylum. Souls and fevered thoughts, reeking of fetter and decay, thinking me mad with delirium. <laughs> the fools cast away their hopes of salvation by locking me in this damned asylum. May the rats eat your eyes! I am now lost to your cause! The darkness comes! It will damn us all! Dang. <laughs> the Jefferson and Combos Sanctuarium, Rhode Island. Chapter complete! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that story? Ah, that was so traumatizing. Yes, truly. Okay, I need to bring my sanity back up. Alright. Now where? Uh, we got... We still haven't found a revolver. Oh, yes. We have a dresser key. Is this going to be a sanity type of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we read that before. Um. Hmm. We gotta cover the thing somehow. But I don't think we can do it. Unless. We do a reveal spell? Oh. Hmm. So basically, the spells is like Pokemon, to be honest. That's where we just came from, right? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Have we been down here? The door is locked. Um, 
We we need to find a dresser. Like, where's the dresser? We need to find it. There must be a treasure somewhere. Oh. Hello. Okay, goodbye. He's like, hey, you want to see something cool? The wallpaper in this section of the hallway is oddly mirrored, as though the wall it sits on is not even with the rest of the room. Well, what do we do? What do we do here? Damage field? Ow! Oh! A, the stained glass depicts a glowing medieval maiden, luminously, even with the faint light of a setting sun. The maiden claps a piece of parchment in her hands. The window gives Alex a strange feeling, and almost as if it is magical and not really there. A glowing field of energy protects the window. Okay. Well, this calls for this. No? Reveal invisible then? I'm confused. There is something uh, about this. Oh! Yeah, you need the damage field. That's the symbol that's giving, right? We use the damage field. I'm guessing. Oh, we use it here? Maybe we use fire then? Or, no, that, that was not it. I'm not too sure. Well, what the heck? How do you get it? Spell nine? Well, spell nine did not work. How do you get for this? Huh, I'm not entirely sure. Reveal invisible. Enchant item, recover. What, you need the green? Enter by Hyrule Celadon. 
Okay. Um, you need... Uh, damage field? Ow. Okay, that did not work. What the heck do we do? Oh! Wait, what? Why is the light off in there? If only we had a light! I don't have a light, do I? Field. Maybe. Maybe we try this with the green. Can you stop moving? Nope, that did not work. All right. What the heck? I think we need a lighter or something. We still haven't found where this dresser key goes to. Wait a second. Ah, there we go. Using the reveal invisible spell has made the keyhole appear. The dresser still appears to be locked, however. Well, we can fix that real quick, can't we? Boop. Yes. It is... Inside is a chrome finished revolver in a tattered page from the Tomb of Internal Darkness. Yes. Journey into darkness. Oh. Your guardians have located the heart of Mantarok. Yes, located within its grave. How do we suspect of this? It shall be retrieved at once. Be wary. The power of Mantarok lingers still, corroding the universe around us. Assure you that my binding of Mantarok, fueled by your very own power, would be enough. It is not your sorcery that we doubt, Augustus, but the power of the dead god. How can you, a mere mortal, comprehend what that entity represents, or what power it can wield? We know that. And we know more than that. Your future depends on me, Majesty. Without me to open the gates. Yes, yes. Be quick. Let's tell the power. My power may save you. Wait. Listen. It will never happen. I am seeing differently. Okay. Well, now we got a revolver. Here we go. This is still on the ground. Can't even get it. Revolver. 
I'm not sure if the Revolver would work. This is a Smith & Wesson Model 37, one of the smaller revolvers in the Smith & Wesson family. This double-action revolver is capable of firing a .38 special ammo, which allows for extra stopping power. I see. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. We do have this next page here, A Journey into Darkness. You know what? I think we'll save it there. Yes, we'll save it there, everybody. I, I do apologize, everyone. I bet you guys would have wanted to see more of this, but I'm sorry. Maybe next time we'll finish the rest of this. But thank you, everyone, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. My name's Oscar, and I'll see you next one. Bye, everybody!